Welcome to the Healthy OC segment on Real Orange. I'm medical author Dr. Doug Lyle. The treatment of brain tumors and movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease has evolved dramatically in recent years. At the forefront of these advances is today's guest, Dr. Christopher Duma. Chris, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, as an old buff of uh, 1950s sci-fi, when I hear the term brain mapping, I immediately conjure up uh, Dr. Frankenstein <laughs> standing over his monster with all that electrical stuff in the background. Tell us exactly what brain mapping is. Thankfully, it's a little different from that now. Uh, yeah, brain mapping is exactly what it sounds like. Um, I tell my patients that the brain is mapped out just like every part of the body. So there's a part of the brain that operates your speech. There's an area that operates uh, your big toe, uh, understanding, memory, things like that. They're all mapped to a particular area of the brain. And the importance of knowing where those areas are precisely is during surgery, you want to avoid those areas and keep those functions intact. So you can attack the problem, but leave the good stuff behind. Exactly. Yeah, so when you go into the operating room and do this, sometimes the patients are awake and sometimes they're asleep. How do you use brain mapping to guide your therapies while you're standing there in the OR? Well, in interestingly, when the brain is open, in other words, when, you've, uh, when you're looking at it, <laughs> right. it, it, it all looks the same. And uh, those little nooks and crannies, those convolutions, each area of, those, the, of, that, of that part of the brain has this particular function, and you can actually stimulate a particular area of the brain and get the patient to respond right there on the operating table. Sometimes we need them to be awake, other times they don't need to be awake. And uh, uh, especially with speech areas, you have to actually map, map out the precise area of the brain that is responsible for the patient to be able to talk. And in tumor surgery, this becomes critical in salvaging good tissue and getting rid of the evil tissue as Precisely. It were. Once we locate these particular areas of the brain, we actually figure out the corridors to get around those areas of the brain to get to a tumor or to treat a patient with Parkinson's disease, for right. example. And you also deal with the brain pacemakers, uh, I understand. Can you tell us a little bit about what they do and how it works and what it's used for? Well, the pacemakers are used for patients with Parkinson's disease. And uh, the wire, I mean, it's the same technology as a heart pacemaker. The wire, instead of going to the heart, actually goes to the depths of the brain. And we're stimulating areas of the brain that might be responsible for tremor or might be responsible for the stiffness and rigidity of Parkinson's disease. And once the electrode is implanted in the perfect spot, we usually we, we can fix both of those problems. Now, you're one of the pioneers in this gamma knife therapy, and what exactly does that mean when you're in there working? What does that do? Well, gamma knife is a, is a technology that's been around for about 19 years here in America, but uh, it's, a, it's a fabulous uh, a technique where we can actually treat brain tumors and other problems without opening the head. So, whereas typical surgery we have to do large operations in the operating room. This is surgery without opening the, the, the skull and it's bloodless. Patients are in and out in the morning and uh, go home that afternoon. So it's like a smart bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. This is fascinating stuff and I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for being here. This is good. Thanks for having me. That wraps up this week's edition of Healthy OC. I'm Doug Lyle. See you next time.